way to sprawl, okay? So, a couple things that I'll see often, we're gonna go from a single leg, is as soon as people sprawl, they wanna shoot their legs back and they wanna push their hips in, and they keep their chest up, so they'll land in like this, be real strong, okay? They'll land in this position, right? And that actually doesn't do me anything. Like, she can just run me up, she comes up to her feet, she can run me up. So, I wanna make her bear all of my weight off the back, all of my weight. And so I'm gonna be collapsing my hip like into her trap right here. And I'm gonna be leaning into her like this. Now she's bearing all my weight, so it's a little harder for her to come up. And the other most important thing is this foot, this foot. People want to use it to apply pressure with their hips, so they'll put their toe in the mat. They'll put this toe in the mat to push. If I push, she can just run right up to her feet because there's this point in the mat that's now she can use. Show again. See how she can use that? It doesn't matter how much I'm pushing my hips into her. She has more of an advantage because I've now given it to her. Instead, your other leg they're not holding is gonna be your push leg. That one, your toe can be in the mat. This one, immediately when she shoots on me, I'm pointing it, putting my laces down. So first thing, she's gonna carry my weight, I'm pointing my toe, pushing it back. When I, if you watch a match, I actually will often have it in the air to make them really carry my weight. This is my push leg, right? She's carrying my weight. And now my goal is to get my knee to the mat and slice, sliding back towards this, never putting my toe in, but keeping it down, okay? And this is what I'm gonna use to keep that pressure to help me slide. Slide, slide, slide. And this hip, like my hip bone is piercing her back, right? Slide, 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 towards this. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay? Do you wanna see it again? All right, we got it. One more time. So she shoots, I'm not shooting my legs back like this, because now she can just run right up to her feet. I'm putting all my weight into her, pushing with this leg she's not holding, and pointing my toe. To start putting my knee to the mat, trying to get my knee in, that's first thing now that I'm just gonna slide towards this. And this is really like bouncing, like keeping me pushing into her as I work back. A lot of you are gonna wanna put that toe down as you're sliding back, just use your other leg as pressure. I promise it's, it's gonna feel a little bit different, but. Oh, and the reason being too, when my toe's in the mat, she can drive up. When my laces are in the mat, she's gonna try to build up. Then she's gonna move forward. You can move forward, then try to build up. We're just gonna slide, right? We're just gonna slide. Sometimes I'll slide 10 feet across the mat, and they're just getting exhausted, right? Trying to build up, but you're just sliding. As soon as my toe goes in, it stops us from sliding, and they're able to come up. Would it sometimes, I feel like, like 